guys welcome back to my channel love charms world i know it's been a while but i am here because to post this video today because it's been a huge discussion in the flight attendant industry and i want to make awareness of this it's it's been on my mind for some time now the other day i was watching a video with this youtuber she's a flight attendant that i've been what i've been watching her channel for a while and she brought this to my attention and before that it's been on my mind to make a video about it but her you know talking about it in her video made me want to do it more and then yesterday i was browsing through um instagram and there is this uh instagram page called hold on i'm gonna tell you right now uh black flight attendants usa on instagram and they do have uh they do have um a meeting coming up on september 27th discussing you know suicide and depression in the flight attendant community um this has been something that i think have been swept under the rug and i feel like this should be an open discussion like I feel like there should be a safe place for flight attendants to go and like express how they're feeling and what they're going through and how they could help. Um, <clears throat> I was doing some research and um, I came across this article where it's one of the top um, what, what would I say? It's one of the top uh, airline industry, that's what the word I'm looking for, in the world. And this article, it spoke about um, the flight attendant um, feeling pressured because um, I guess with their contract, after you reach a certain age, you can't be a flight attendant anymore and you have to keep a specific type of figure in order to be in that field and i feel like it's sh weight shouldn't certain type of weight should not be an issue to be a certain type of flight attendant i understand that they have a certain image in what they want for their company but i feel like I feel like it shouldn't be that way that a flight attendant would have to stress so much about it that they actually go and commit suicide you know what I mean like that shouldn't be something that's allowed you know that should not be something that's the norm but I get it they have their rules they have how they want their flight attendant to look they you know but I feel like a woman should not be stressing about how her weight you know what I mean that shouldn't be something and it just it it just really got me a little disturbed about the whole thing because it shouldn't have to be that way you know what I mean and I just feel like maybe the industry should um make this topic a little bit more norm so that the flight attendants can be more comfortable and like come in and have someone if it's even once or twice a month they have like a bunch of people or have like a flight attendant AA meeting where they go in and discuss how they're feeling because depression and suicide is like a huge thing in this industry not only in this industry but like everyone I feel like this topic should be not something you just push under the rug you know what I mean like you hear they speak about it for a little bit and then after a while it just goes away which it's it shouldn't have to be that way you should be feeling comfortable and being happy within your job i understand that when people see like oh flight attendants they see this glamour life like oh i get to fly to this and that destination and have this layover and great people great co-workers but 
beyond that, there's some flight attendants that are really suffering. You know what I mean? And it's it's really sad. Like, let me get a little personal. The other day I had to take, I had to work my schedule a certain kind of way because, so that I could have some break at home because I was feeling a little bit lonely and my personal life. I noticed it's starting to interfere with my work and I didn't want that because I love this job this is my dream job and I want to be the best and I want to do the best in my field so I had to like step back and like take some take a break and really like spend some time with family and really gather my thoughts so that I could go back out there and be the best flight attendant as I can be. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like um, flight attendants should have an open space where they could go and share their feelings, if that makes sense to you guys. But yes, it's a wonderful job. Don't get me wrong. I love this job. It's as I said, it's been my dream job, but it's just something, it's just been a topic that have been floating around for some time now. And it's been weighing on my mind to like, um, make a video about this for my channel because I really, I really feel it for these flight attendants that feel like they are alone. And you know, when you go in your hotel room and you just like, you're just there by yourself like you just feel like you don't have anyone but you know like I think ways in which you could uh, which could help you know is I'm pretty sure flight, a lot of flight attendants does this you know you know bring your 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 people on the, a trip with you to make you feel not lonely you know what I mean I remember uh, one of my um, subbies said to me that Oh, uh, when I that's when I just started. She asked me um if I ever felt lonely and at the time I said no. I didn't feel lonely because you know I was new and I was excited to be a flight attendant and I was excited I was excited for flying. I was excited to do everything. Not that I'm not now. I'm still excited, but at the time I wasn't feeling lonely, but it's going to be 2 years of me being a flight attendant and um I I'm starting I the other day I was starting to feel that way so and I was doing a lot of flying and I wasn't getting enough time to be at home so I had cuz you know we let's be real we all have bills to pay and not to go off track that could be like a huge factor in some flight attendant life like financial you know like I'm pretty sure a lot of people, because I've heard this a lot, like when people find out that I'm a flight attendant, oh, I heard flight attendants, they make a lot of money. And I'm like, oh, they do. It all depends on the company you're with or how much you're being paid or how much work you actually put in. Like, I remember I did uh, over 100 hours and I was tired and I barely got to spend time at home and I was just feeling frustrated like I know we all got bills to pay and everything and I understand but like I had to take a step back I couldn't like I had to work my schedule where I'm making a decent amount of income so that I could pay my bills and so I could spend more time at home with you know my family and and still not feel like I'm being left out of everything you know what I mean but for some flat attendants they don't see it that way and I just like reading those articles and everything it just I just feel I feel so sad for them and I really wish they they didn't um have to feel that way you know what I mean to like harm themselves I really wish there was somebody they could speak to about all of this and be comfortable and not have to feel like their back is against the wall and for them to really commit suicide suicide and depression is like a big thing and I've always said that um, 
it's it needs to be something that needs to be on the table that should be something that should be discussed it shouldn't be something that you make fun of because it's not a joke you know what i mean and being uh raised in a caribbean background born and raised in a caribbean background you know it's like they want to blow it off like oh you put too much pressure on yourself and and um you think about things too much it's not like that you know what i mean depression is something that you just you cannot control like you it's something that's like in your mind you just cannot get outside of your mind about it you just you're just stuck in your head like it's just there every time you go lay down close your eyes it's just your mind is just racing you know what i mean and it's really something that needs to be discussed in especially the black community because it's not i just really feel sad and however as i said on uh september 27 at it's at 4 p.m to 7 p.m you have to rsvp for the location you could find the instruction at Black Flight Attendant USA on Instagram. I don't know. On Instagram, but that's the flyer. And you could go in and talk and like express how you feel. You know, like don't ever feel like you're alone. Like don't ever feel like you're alone. Like if you need to speak to someone, you could even um, text me. Um, my name is Sweetest Love Charm on uh, Instagram. I will leave the link in the bio for you guys to follow me and express how you feel. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade that, oh, I don't want to do this job anymore because I don't want to deal with that. It is a good job. You know, you don't have anyone on your back like in a regular job, like supervisors like hovering over you. You know what I mean? But this needs to be a discussion and it shouldn't have to end up where someone is like harming themselves it shouldn't have to be this way this should be a discussion it shouldn't have to be something that's swept under the rug <clears throat> sorry it should really be an open discussion and sometimes like what what i was reading this article other article where this uh, flight attendant, she was feeling a little depressed because sometimes she did uh, experience like racism on the flights and stuff, which is very common. And it like, if you're a racist, why are you flying on that plane? Why? You know what I mean? Like, why? Go take a boat or something because it's not fair. Like, yes, we are there. We're not only there to serve you cookies, peanuts, and everything we are your flight attendants for number one flight attendants we're firefighters we're nurses we're like everything on board for you guys we're there for your safety you know what i mean you shouldn't be treating us any type of way because if in case of an emergency it's us we're gonna be the one that sh that's there for you you know in case of an emergency so you should protect us have respect for us and not treat us any type of way and I hate that she felt that way because sometimes I encounter some some passengers on board and they do get out of bound about certain things. A quick story time. I remember this passenger wrote me up because um, because the seat plug on the aircraft wasn't working, and I attend to her and everything and everything. And she wrote an email about me and what she said was just, it was very hurtful to me and I felt so sad. And I was just like, why did she write that about me? You know what I mean? You think I really harmed this lady, but you know, after a while I just let it go and continue. I didn't let that distract me from doing my job. You know what I mean? Because... I want to be a flight attendant and I love this job and I'm not going to let any passenger or anybody mess that up, okay? But it's really sad though that some flight attendants would not move on from that. They would think about that, you know what I mean? Like 
and little things just like um, sums up that add to their stress and I just it's just sad man like reading these articles I was just like wow like I really wish they didn't have to go through all of this you know what I mean and it, hurt, it breaks my heart and I just want everybody to be happy and be comfortable in their job obviously everybody cannot wake up and be happy every day but I want everybody to be comfortable have a safe home in which they could um, you know come and speak about their feelings instead of harming themselves you know and it's as I said it was weighing heavy on my mind to make this video about suicidal and depression in the flight attendant community and I really I feel sad but on a happy note if you guys have any uh, anything that you want to ask me feel free to comment below don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel I've been seeing a lot of people watching my channel but you're not subscribing subscribe guys so that you know we could get these videos going so comment down below anything you want to ask me and I would leave you could search the link for these or I will leave them if it's safe for me to leave the links for you to read these articles about flat attendants and what they are actually going through and yeah sometimes my advice to flat the flight attendants sometimes you just need a break and it's okay to um to take a break you know take a month off like get to know yourself like clear your mind you know i understand you have bills but try and see if you could save up and and try and take some time off from work and like just get some me time you know it's hard and everybody see this job and they're like oh my god what kind of stress could you have in the flight attendant industry well little do you know <laughs> so and I know some people are gonna say why keep the job <clears throat> excuse me why keep the job if you're not happy da, da, da. it's easy said than done especially when this is your dream you don't want to walk away from a dream and you also don't want to be sad doing your dream okay so be mindful be respectful to the flight attendants like we're out there for your safety we're out there to take you to your loved ones to work okay we're out there for your safety okay and you have to be respectful and mindful when you're a passenger on board and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that this kind of opened the eyes for some people and I hope that this becomes a topic. It's not only in the flight attendant industry, it's in other industry as well and people need to be mindful of what they say to their coworkers or their peers because that was, I read an article where some flight attendants are a little bit harsh and that's why some of them take the route of suicidal and that's why some of them fall in depression and you have to be mindful of others you know what I mean be mindful what you say be respectful to others respect is the big is a big thing and it takes you a long way you know what I mean so I just wanted to get that off my chest because it's been weighing on my mind but remember to if to RSVP so that you could know um, the location of the place and go express how you feel thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye have a great day keep a smile on your face